a gracious good day to one and all once again. Tis I, Norton the First, by grace of God, Emperor of the United States and Protector of Mexico, back with you again for episode 41 of Emperor Norton's Fantastic History Vlog. A little housekeeping today, uh, a couple things. First of all, you will notice uh, better technical aspects to today's vlog. We've discovered how to do video editing. Hmm. And also there's been some confusion about how the episodes run and I know it is confusing. Basically, I do this vlog Monday through Friday. And then on the weekends, we do a special edition with the Countess Lola Montez of Landsfeld. Now, normally that would be happening on a Saturday, but sometimes things happen, like the sing-along for I Left My Heart in San Francisco, Mother's Day, etc., can sometimes push that one to Sunday. So that'll take care of that, just so you know. So let's get on with today's considerable history, of course, being Monday. It is Ketchup Day. Oops, wrong way. Ketchup Day. Uh, because we have Saturday, Sunday, and Monday to cover today. So let's start off with the San Francisco highlights. It was on this day, on May 10, 1869, the completion of the Transcontinental Railroad. Promontory Point, Utah, connecting the continent from one end to the other. Of course, it would end in Oakland across the bay. And I was there that day, the first time the train arrived, to sell my Imperial Treasury bonds. Uh, the big four who were responsible for that, all San Franciscans, had mansions on top of Knob Hill. Let's see, I was getting this one, it seems. Leland Stanford, Charles Crocker, Mark Hopkins, and Collis Huntington. I got them all. Yay. Uh, also on this date, uh, not on this date, on May 11, 1860, 1960, hmm, look at that one. Pacific Telephone eliminates prefix names. Anybody remember their prefix? I do. My first one was X-Book. Well, let's come back to May 9 for the highlights. Uh, British inventor Joseph Brama patents be the beer pump handle. We've been grateful ever since. 1865, President Andrew Johnson issues a proclamation, I thought that was my job, declaring armed resistance in the South is virtually at an end. This is the commonly accepted end date for the American Civil War. 1868, the city of Reno, Nevada is founded. 1914, U.S. President Woodrow Wilson proclaims, there's another one, Mother's Day. 1941, British intelligence breaks the German spy codes after capturing the Enigma machines. Of course, Alice, Alice, <laughs> Alan, sorry, Alan. Alan Turing is responsible for that. Uh, this date in 1945, Hermann Goering is captured by the United States Army. 1958, the film by Alfred Hitchcock, Vertigo, premieres, starring Jimmy Stewart, Kim Novak, and of course, is set right here in San Francisco. 1962, the Beatles signed their first contract with EMI Parlophone. 2005, the liberal commentary website, The Huffington Post, is launched. Didn't think it was that long. 2017, President Trump dismisses FBI Director James Comey. May 10th highlights. Benjamin Franklin tests the lightning conductor of his kite flying experiment with the key. That's very famous. And also, it was on this date in 1924, May 10th, 1924 rather, that J. Edgar Hoover was appointed the head of the FBI, a position that he would hold until his death in 1972. On May 10th, 1933, the Nazis staged the first public book burnings in Germany. Terrible thing. 1963, Decca Records signs the Rolling Stones on the advice of Beatle George Harrison. And in 1967, Rolling Stones Keith Richards, Brian Jones, and Mick Jagger were arrested on drug charges. I guess they were celebrating their fourth anniversary of their contract. I don't know. 1994, Nelson Mandela is sworn in as South Africa's first black president. This day in history, 
Uh, the Pulitzer Prize is awarded to Robert Frost, who was born here in San Francisco, and of course we know is famous for writing the poem, Frosty the Snowman. Uh, 1927, Louis B. Mayer forms the, Amer the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. 1931, M, a Fritz Lang film, his first sound film, starring Peter, starring Peter Lorre, is premiered in Berlin, Germany. 1960, Israeli soldiers capture Adolf Eichmann in Buenos Aires. 1968, Richard Harris releases MacArthur Park. Oh dear, someone left a cake out in the rain. 1969, British comedy troupe Monty Python forms. Me! Uh, birthdays today, May 9th, not today, May 9th, uh, 1800, the abolitionist John Brown. 1873, the discoverer of the tomb of Tutankhamun, Howard Carter. Uh, 1882, Henry J. Kaiser, a Bay Area resident and philanthropist and builder and all sorts of things. 1918, broadcaster Mike Wallace. 1921, peace activist in the Vietnam War, Father Daniel Berrigan. 1936, Glenda Jackson. Also 1936, Terry Drinkwater. Nineteen forty-six, Candace Bergen. Nineteen forty-nine, the piano man himself, Billy Joel. Let's move on to May tenth. Uh, Lincoln assassin actor John Wilkes Booth. That would be. Sorry, I'm having a hard time reading this. Eighteen thirty-eight. Nineteen o two, David O. Selznick, the producer behind Gone with the Wind. Nineteen twenty-two, bounty spokesperson, famous actor. Nancy Walker, 1934, Gary Owens. 1957, Sid Vicious from the Sex Pistols and 1960, U2 singer Bono, who is remembered in San Francisco for defacing the villain court fountain. May 11th, today we have Chang and Eng Bunker. You may not remember them from their name, but they were the original Siamese twins. 1888, Irving Berlin, famous songwriter. 1904, Salvador Dali, hello Dali. Uh, 1912, funny man Phil Silver, Sergeant Bilko himself. 1912 also, the lovable lush Foster Brooks. 1927, political satirist Mort Saul. And 1941, Eric Burden, singer for the animals. Deaths, May 9. The creator of Little Orphan Annie, Harold Gray. 2010, singer Lena Horne. 2012, Vidal Sassoon. That was Mike Roth. And of course, uh, 2020, Little Richard, just over the weekend. Uh, May 10th, we have birthdays for Paul Revere, famous for The Midnight Ride. 1863, oh, that was 1818. 1863, Stonewall Jackson from the Civil War. 1977, Joan Crawford, no wire hangers! And 1994 mass murderer and clown, John Wayne Gacy. Uh, May 11th, we have the deaths of John D. Rockefeller Jr., Bob Marley, Yaman, uh, the creator of Dick Tracy, Chester Gould, uh, creator of The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Doug Adams, and of course, today we lost Jerry Stiller, who you may remember from, oh, numerous sitcoms, including Seinfeld, and of course, the famous comedy troupe of Stiller and Mira, then the parents of Ben Stiller. <clears throat> well, that wraps it up for today. Until we meet again, stay safe, stay healthy, stay inside. If you're going outside, wear a mask, be kind to each other, be smart, a gracious good day from the Empire.